So is Apple anti-consumer? Also, why won't we be able to play Xbox on our iPhone? Today, we're going to discuss all of that and why Apple is wrong about Project X Cloud and what we know so far. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Shaking. What's up guys, my name is Corrojan and welcome back to the channel, I appreciate it. So Microsoft's Project X Cloud is definitely hype and it's Microsoft's new game streaming service that is set to launch on September 15th of this year. We're just about a month away. Now this launch does come with a twist, it will be launching exclusively on Android devices. That's right, anyone with an iOS device will not be able to use xCloud's streaming service, meaning you cannot play Xbox on your iPhone anymore, ladies and gentlemen. Now, before I continue, I want to say I'm a huge Apple fan. I own lots of their devices, and I believe Apple's a great company, but, you know, this is something that, I don't know, I'm really not feeling too great about it. Uh, they've made some great decisions in the past, but for some odd reason, even after extensive testing has been done on iOS devices, Apple just doesn't seem to agree within their terms of service that uh, Microsoft's uh, vision for game streaming technology should be on the world's most popular device. What they're saying in the App Store, in the guidelines, is apparently they're banning all services that rely on streaming games from the cloud. Only games from the cloud specifically. So even Facebook had this issue, and not only does this affect xCloud, this is actually going to affect all streaming services. I mean, it's a real mess, guys. Apple was just running trials for xCloud on iOS in their closed public preview with like 10,000 testers. And then all of a sudden, you know, the service isn't even coming to iOS anymore. And it's so crazy. Uh, you know, in actually in a, in a statement to Business Insider, one of Apple's spokespersons said that these restrictions are designed to protect consumers and provide a level playing field to developers. Okay, so this is exactly what they said. They said, Our customers enjoy great apps and games from millions of developers, and gaming services can absolutely launch on the App Store as long as they follow the same set of guidelines applicable to all developers, including submitting games individually for review and appearing in charts and search. In addition to the App Store, developers can choose to reach all iPhone and iPad users over the web through Safari and other browsers on the App Store. Okay, so Apple is definitely to blame for this one. I'm really not going to hold back on it anymore uh, because, you know, xCloud is, is accompanied with Game Pass, and we all know that. Xbox Game Pass offers, like, hundreds, access to hundreds of different games, and, you know, they're all streamed. So everything is streamed through xCloud. Now, Apple is claiming that they can't foster a safe environment because they cannot review each and every game available through Game Pass and therefore it cannot be allowed on the App Store. I mean, what kind of crap is that? Microsoft responded by saying they want to make Game Pass available on iOS and all devices, but there's no information on iOS at this time. Here's the official statement. They said, our testing period for the Project X Cloud preview app for iOS has expired. Unfortunately, we do not have a path to bring our vision of cloud gaming with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate to gamers on iOS via the Apple App Store. Apple stands alone as the only general purpose platform to deny consumers from cloud gaming and game subscription services like Xbox Game Pass. And it consistently treats gaming apps differently, applying more lenient rules to non-gaming apps even when they include interactive content. All games available in the Xbox Game Pass catalog are rated for content by independent industry ratings bodies such as the ESRB and regional equivalents. We are committed to finding a path to bringing cloud gaming with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate to the iOS platform. We believe that the customer should be at the heart of the gaming experience and gamers tell us they want to play, connect, and share anywhere no matter where they are. We agree. Microsoft is providing a great response and this is specifically stating that all games that are available in the Xbox Game Pass are in a catalog that are rated for content by independent industry rating bodies like the ESRB and regional equivalents. So for anyone to reject that is a very obvious and a very ballsy move, very ballsy move like by, by Apple specifically to monopolize Apple Arcade and not really allow any competition whatsoever in the game streaming world 
Um, it really is a bold move, and I think they're completely in the wrong for it. And maybe in the future, when they realize that less people are going to gravitate and support or really care much for Apple Arcade, then they'll finally change with their times and they'll open up their term, the, you know, the terms of service for the App Store. Okay, because right now we don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon. Uh, XCloud, XCloud's coming out next month, and nothing. There's no word on it coming to iOS anymore. And the rejection of game streaming is not only for xCloud. Apple's terms of service is affecting all game streaming services. So, I mean, Google Stadia, Microsoft Project xCloud, NVIDIA GeForce Now, and, you know, that can spread to even independent game developers and other games available that are also kind of available on all platforms. So, like Fortnite or uh, Minecraft and Roblox, just to name a few. So, what do you guys think? You know, what's the next step from here? If you guys want to change this, I'm linking a petition to sign for us to start voicing our opinions about this to Apple. You know, it's not going against Apple. I just want to voice an opinion about this to Apple. It's a great petition. Check it out in the description below. Um, you know, let's get as many signatures as possible because Apple does need to change with the times, guys. Game streaming is the future. If you guys are a gamer, you know that game streaming is really is the future of gaming. And the popularity of it is increasing very fast. I mean, there's over a billion iPhones on the planet. So if you want to have any kind of hope of being a part of this, uh, sign the petition. We can hopefully convince Apple to open up their restrictions for xCloud and of course for other game streaming services. Now, if you also, if you enjoyed the video, drop it a like and subscribe for more videos like these. I am excited for the future of this channel and I can't wait to continue this journey with all of you guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. This is Corrogen and I'm out.